and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Arizona Diamondbacks. <laughs> and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. Pitching in our game today, Merrill Kelly. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. The wind of the pitch. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's Justin Turner. The wind of the pitch. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And that extends the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Well, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. It's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Turner, round second on his way to third. And that's a double. Throw cut off, now to the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. One left for the Red Sox, and now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Paven Smith on the ground and foul ball the one two on a line base hit everything came together for him just a solid swing right there caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit those always feel great could tell Marte up to the plate Still two and two after the foul ball. And he deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, he just had no answer for that hard inside fastball right there. Just blew it by him. And not every pitcher likes working inside, especially with two. Boots it. Feed to second. That's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. On to first, safe. So they get one, but a really nice try there. And now it's Christian Walker. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. One left for Arizona. We played an inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now batting Jaron Duran. The center field, number 16. Jaron Duran. Swing and a miss One ball. as he was out front that time. Right side. One out in the second. Now batting Tristan Casas. The 2 1. In the air, left field. Guriel has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. Batting seven. Here's Kike Hernandez. Kike Hernandez. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. 
Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's going to be number 47. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Got him. Out number three. And yeah, the Red Sox leave one. We'll go to the bottom. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. He goes down looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Here comes a pitch. On the ground to Devers. And that quickly, two away. So up next, Gabriel Moreno. Two outs. Rip towards third. Rolls across the diamond. That's out number three. Nothing doing for Arizona. We'll move to the third with no score. Leading off. And welcome ball. back. And now Connor Wong. Connor. Wong. Next offering upstairs. Ball Way three. high. Three balls, one strike. The three one. Swing and a base hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So the batting order turns over. Here's Alex Verdugo. Runner on the goal. And he lays down a bunt. And it's just foul. That was close. 2-2 Two -two now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The 2-2 two -two now. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll moving under it. And there's one down. Now that the Devers now. Struck out swinging his first yeah. time. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time. And they do get the second out of the inning. So now Turner in on that right side. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. And a 1-1. One -one. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Wong around third. He'll score, and it's 1-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. So two down. And now Masataka Yoshida. That one is absolutely belted. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second, and they take a two-run lead. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Now here is Jaron Duran. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. To the right side. On to first. And that will end the inning. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. Back here in the desert. Bottom of the inning. And now here's a speed threat. Outfield. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. To the warning track. Makes the catch. Next to hit. Geraldo Perdomo. One down, base is empty. 
swings through that one. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Fouls it off, still one and two. Righty to the plate. Line drive, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. On the ground to first, fair ball. Perdomo around second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line, and once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Here's Cattell Marte, and fouled off. The pitch. And a base hit up the middle. One runs in. Here's the throw to the plate. Slide save. We are tied at two. Oh, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. This is Corbin Carroll. Foul ball still a one and two count. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Next pitch downstairs, and it's two and two. Fights it off, he'll see another. Next pitch is downstairs. Good job to fight that one off. Three, two. Line drive. Yoshida makes the grab. Two down. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. The 1-1. One, one. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. And the slider just misses. It's a good take. That one ripped. Base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Went down on strikes his first time through. Late on that fastball. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Got him! And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Back here at Chase Field, all set for the start of the inning. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. All over that one right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Hard liner. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. So digging in, number 47. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Casas at third. Hernandez at second with nobody out. Next offering is fouled back.
Got him. One out. Connor Wong now at the plate. Singled and scored his first time. In the air, center field. Carroll moving under it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. Rohal not in time. The run scores. It's 3-2. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Here's a 1-1. That to right. McCarthy settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Welcome back. Bottom four. Here's Josh Rojas. Out to center. Duran under it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter. The catcher. And now, Gabriel Moreno. The one, two. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other the way. Right so credit Number the pitcher 31. for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. That's in there. Going to count one and two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Duran makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Three up, three down for him there. We played. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Rafael Devers. And Devers hits that one. Carroll puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Here's Turner now. and this one could be extra bases now he turns and heads for second pulls in with a double third hit for him today he has had such a good day today I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over a couple of doubles today for the DH and now here is Masataka Yoshida RBI knock for him last time now a chance to drive in another run the punch out there and yeah, there's two away and next for the Red Sox, Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. In the air out to center. Carroll moving under it. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Red Sox three. And we head to the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Swing and a ball popped up. And there's one away. And next is the designated hitter, Paven Smith. Bounce to the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. So two down now, and here is Cattell Marte. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right the there. Really protected with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. Yoshida gliding in towards the infield. Makes the grab on the run. And that is the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They trail it 3-2. 
All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Next offering is fouled back. Got him swinging on the curveball. Now one away. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Kike Hernandez takes him deep. Home run number five on the season. It's 4-2. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. We'll do you one better than a tape measure by breaking out the numbers from StatCast. The distance, 450 feet. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Dre Jameson. Now, number 47. Next offering is fouled back. In the air, right side. McCarthy settles under it. Makes the catch. Two away. Now the catcher up to hit. Connor Wong. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. That smash towards center. Carroll makes the catch, inning over. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. The first baseman. You know. Manager out of the dugout. New pitcher now, Ladies Nick Pavetta. Well, the best please. relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, these Diamondbacks putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. The line to kick the pitch. That's hard hit in the line. Duran calls it in to away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. <laughs> Rips that one to right. Verdugo makes the play and it's out number three. So one, two, th back here in the Ooh, desert. Okay. And now the right fielder, the Alex, right Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Alex And a pitch. Base knock center field. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big now, part man. of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Man aboard, and here is Devers, the 1 1. Ripped, but it curls foul. You know, these Red Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. Rafael Devers rounds the bases. His 14th of the year, and they add a pair. It's 6-2. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Turner climbs in on that right side. This one popped up. Marte going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. The left fielder, number seven. Now the left fielder, Masataka, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. 
Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And it's a double, making him three for four on the day. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Number 30 on the pitch out of the pen here. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Guriel handles the chance, and there's two down. So stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas, one for three. Casas. And that one ripped to left. Guriel handles the chance, and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run. Back here at Chase Field, we got the batter now, Gabriel Moreno. The D-backs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That's Off the mark two. there, and it's two and one. This ball's chopped on the ground. Flips it, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now batting, right fielder, Jake McCarthy. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. Here's a 1-1. And that one fouled off. And a ball and two strikes. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Two up, two down. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. And the Diamondbacks down in order. They still... We're at the top of the eighth, and Who's stepping in for right Boston, side? Enrique Three Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez. Two and one now. Swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Lifted in the air, out to left. Guriel handles the chance, and there's one down. It's a little drop and drive on that now swing. Back. Backside collapsing just a little Emmanuel. bit, trying to put the ball in the air. Next offering is in for a strike. Ripped on a line, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Throw is high and over his head. Tag, got him. Aggressive base running there, trying to take advantage of the defense, but he's out at third. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, and to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Oh, he can't squeeze it. No, he's safe. Up next for the Red Sox, the right fielder. Alex. And next for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. That one the other way, and no one can get there. Wong, round second on his way to third. The run scores all the way from first. It's 7-2. to two. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Oh, look at the stop to first. On the money, nice play. One. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Payton Smith. 
Right-handed reliever. On the ground to short. There's Hernandez handling the chance. The throw to first. Barely got him for the out. Close play. Next to hit for Arizona, Cattell Marte. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. The 1-1. One -one. Slapped foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two down, nobody on. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. A one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ninth pitch of the at-bat do next. Goes down looking. Diamondbacks down. Jose Ruiz taking over on the mound. And something to be aware of. The long ball has been a little bit of a problem for him this year. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Guriel handles the chance. Up next to the Red Sox. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. Here's a 2 1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. That's towards center. Carroll moving under it. Snags it for the second out. Two outs, bases empty. So stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. Duran. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Well, that's his first hit in this one, so that should help him feel a little better. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. So no We head to the bottom of the ninth. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Christian Walker. Foul ball there. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. Hard ground ball base knock. He was all over that one. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big one. Over to Kike. And it's a double play. Well, that's a huge ball in play to get the double play okay. defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. Josh Rojas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down. Over to first, and he's saved. And now, Gabriel Moreno. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. The pitch. Now Two one ball. missed. Two strikes.
hit in the air right field and that is the ball game sometimes road trips can be tough you're away from your family but when you can win silence that opposing crowd it makes things just a little bit better makes the road trip just a little bit shorter 7-2 your final here today for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show I'm John Chomby thanks for joining us